Hello, welcome to another class of digital design with Veriluck. Today class we will discuss about RTL design, particularly we will discuss many examples, complete examples. So, including implementations and interfacing with outer world. So, particularly RTL designs with ASM with examples and detail implementations. So, not very log implementation, but uh, we will try to implement using standard logics. Okay. Outline of today's class is ASM building boxes, what are the different boxes? Already we have discussed, we will do a recap. Then uh, what is ASM block? Okay. So, ASM block it execute in one cycle and what constitute of ASM block that we will see. Then uh, complete design example, so we will uh, do case study of two examples completely. So, one example is serial editions and another example is sum of first n odd number. This two example we looked at very, very carefully and in the designing process we do model the problem using ASM. So, FSM plus data path, then we go for data path generations, then FSM and data path connections also we looked at, how will interconnect and then finally, implementation of ASMs and we looked at interfacing with external world, how the overall design will look, let, look like. So, reference material we have taken uh, from two books, particularly uh, Mano book and Kumar book, chapter 8 of Mano book, uh, design at RTL level and uh, chapter 15 of Kumar book, A. Anand Kumar, fundamental of digital circuits, particularly uh, algorithmic state machines chapter. Already discussed in earlier classes, so what is ASM chart and what uh, ASM chart constitute? It have three type of element or boxes, one is a state box, a decision box and other thing is conditional output box or conditional box. This conditional box is actually, it is uh, help us to model the many time machines then state box help us to model more type of machines and decision box help us to think like doing the things in algorithmic flow way. So, this is the combinations and these are the three uh, building blocks or three type of element or boxes we use. Uh, let us discuss what is uh, ASM block. So, uh, suppose we uh, already designed a means ASM, then what is the ASM block? Okay. So, suppose uh, uh, this is the one example of uh, one uh, algorithmic state machines. Okay. Uh, this is uh, for uh, serial editions, whatever the we are taking case study example, same example we have taken. Suppose this is the uh, ASM of the problem, then uh, what is ASM block? ASM block is uh, an ASM block include a state and all its outgoing edges, condition boxes and conditional state boxes. So, clearly this red mark one. So, this one is red mark one. These are actually, so one box, okay. So, one block. So, state box, its associated condition and its associated conditional state boxes, state box, condition box and associated conditional box, state boxes. So, all three, okay. So, it constitute a block and all part of an ASM block execute in one cycle. So, most importantly, so this execute whole things execute in one cycle and this whole thing execute in one cycle. And at what time it executes? It executes at the end of the cycle. So, the concept is at the end of the cycle, this block executes and a block executes in one cycle. Okay. So, whenever block is activated in the cycle, so this whole block get executed. So, not only the state box, not only the conditions, not the conditional state box all the things get executed together in the cycle. 
and in this particular examples we have two blocks so particularly these two are shown here asm block this is one block and this is another block so state box and all its outgoing edges particularly this is outgoing edges this is outgoing edges and this is outgoing edges all outgoing edges conditional condition box and conditional state box so all three things state box condition boxes all outgoing edges of condition box and conditional state boxes all execute in one cycles and this constitute state this constitute we call as block asm block okay asm block is include a state and in all its outgoing edges condition boxes and conditional state boxes and this is uh, one another example so in this example so this particular this up uh, this uh, uh, example have three state clearly state 1 state 2 and state 3 there are three states and these states have associated this state have associated uh, what you can say this is 1 this is 2 and 3 there are three states and this is associated condition box this is associated conditional state box this is associated conditional conditional state box and this is again associated conditions so whole this whole red thing it constitute of one asm block so state and its associated condition box and conditional state box conditional box so this whole things constitute one asm block and it execute in one cycle okay so a asm block may be much bigger than a simple state and these are another block 2 and this is block 3 this one is block 1 so this example of three block so asm block number of asm block it depend on number of state box available in the asm so in the previous diagrams previous uh, asm examples so because the whole things execute in one cycle and whenever start is equal to 1 and q0 is equal to 1 so this is go to the in, in the next cycle it goes to the uh, this small one so in this uh, example so what happening so this q0 is 1 uh, because q0 is equal to 1 and start is equal to 1 start is equal to 1 so look the start is equal to 1 and q0 is equal to 1 one about this start and q0 is equal to 1 and it is in currently in this state that means it goes to the transition one start equal to 1 and q0 is equal to 1 then that means it will follow this path and it will go to mol1 so the whole thing executes the whole block executes in one cycle and it goes to the next cycle it goes and in next cycle it reaches to the this block so exactly same thing this is q1 and this is start and whenever both start and this thing one then it goes to the this is currently in state block 1 and it goes to the block 3 and block 3 is or block 3 is small 1 so block 3 is small 1 this one is block 3 it goes to the block 3 the whole thing executes in one cycle so that's the beauty of asm block okay so this is a uh, output appears while in the states and register transfer occur at the clock while executing the states and new value occurs in the next states so new value occurs in the next state so this is the next state and new value occurs in the next states 
So, this is the uh, concept of ASM block. ASM block is state box and its associated condition box, all outgoing edges and conditional state box, conditional boxes. Okay. So, all three things constitute of a ASM block and an ASM block execute in one cycle. So, let us look at concrete examples of uh, uh, digital design examples with ASM and example is serial editions with only one full ladder. So, in the earlier classes we have already uh, uh, studied about the serial editions and the serial editions it have two input x and y and this this is the full ladder okay and it takes a uh, x and y input it generate s and uh, it generate c and the same thing uh, gets stored in a flip flop this is a flip flop and in the next cycle this uh, whatever it stored next cycle because it is deep flip flop next cycle it get used okay so this is the serial additions and what it do actually it's do means uh, suppose uh, uh, x0 x1 x2 up to xn and suppose y0 y1 y2 up to yn then it's actually add the values this is uh, s0 then it's generate a carry then s1 it generate another carry so in this way it's process okay so this is the serial additions using only one pull ladder because at a one given instance only one uh, bit is getting used okay so only one pull ladder is more than enough so we can do in serial editions so how the fsm will look like so this is mainly uh, finite state machine for binary adder so based on what are the value of e and means x and y so in this case there are two states Okay, so two state A and B, and what is the value of means uh, two state A and B? So what it says, the state says this is the what are the earlier carries. So this states, this states says about the carry bit. The state says about the carry bit if carry bit is 0 and x y is equal to 0 x y is equal to 0 and output will be 0 carry bit is equal to suppose uh, 0 1 this output is 1 okay but again carry bit will be stay at 0 in this case uh, uh, input is equal to suppose 1 0 and carry bit is 0 then it will generate sum is equal to 1 and carry bit is equal to 0 and carry bit again carry bit represent the state in this case okay so whether bit will change or not suppose you are in state 0 carry bit is 0 and you got a 1 1 then result will be sum will be 0 this represent the sum okay and this represent the this represent the carry state represent the carry okay and output represent the sum Okay, output depend the sum. So, this is the uh, mainly FSN of binary adder. So, if we convert this to FSM, so FSM how it look like? So, this has to two states, so A and B, okay, so similar to the mainly FSM and this is the state A. So, in this case output uh, this is what you can say this one is uh, carry bit and based on the x y value of x y if it is 0 then output also goes to 0 and if it is 0 1 and 1 0 then sum will be sum will be in this case output sum sum is equal to 1. So, what about the this thing it is uh, shown is actually 0 1 this part is shown. So, this part is actually this part correspond to this thing okay this part correspond to this thing and if this part suppose you are in state 0 and got a 1 1 so and then you go to the next state you go to the next state if this this part this things is correspond to this one so every edges so this this part suppose you are in 
this part is corresponding to this one this part is uh, this uh, this is actually correspond to this part so this part actually other part is correspond to this one so similarly for state b also so based on the values if it is 0 0 and 0 1 then it's go to the same state 0 0 and 0 1 it goes to the same state but sum is 0 so this is the behavior of a uh, uh, binary error so this is the asm diagrams so similar to we can correspondingly you can write or uh, draw the asm diagrams once you draw the asm suppose from the asm so we want to generate circuits so this is kind of reverse engineering but we want to do that thing okay so this this represent the when sum is equal to 1 bit okay so if it is 0 0 and uh, currently you are stayed in b okay and you got a 0 0 then in this case it will generate a sum 1 that three cases it is generating sum is equal to 1 and in this case same examples i am we are taking and in this case there are two asm block number of asm block is same as number of states okay in this case two states okay one and two for this two state we have two asm blocks so and a an ASM block execute in one cycle. Okay, that means ASM block means the st state box, associated condition box, and all its outgoing edges and conditional boxes. All th three things get executed in one cycle. That means this whole block get executed in one cycle. Okay. And based on the conditions, it go to the next cycle, next uh, uh, what I can say, ASM block, or it may stay in the same ASM block. And so I, earlier I ho have already shown this uh, diagrams, and this ASM have two blocks, okay. And ASM block means include all a state, all its outgoing edges, condition boxes, and conditional boxes that you already have shown and in this example there are two block. So if you want to implement this uh, ASM, suppose uh, we want to implement this ASM, so what will be the logic? So clearly uh, from the ASM design, so clearly how many states are there, two states? two state can be encoded into means uh, in one flip flop two states can be encoded into one flip flop okay so that's why we require a single one flip flop deep flip flop to store the states okay and for transitions what is the output output is s for what conditions output s will be one that we need to decide and what are the state transitions Okay, so in this case, this is next state logic. So we are storing zero or one in the deep flip flop. Deep flip flop. This is the state informations. State informations. And from the states, based on the input. Based on the input. Okay, so based on the input. So states. This is the state. So next state logic. So next state is what? function of current state plus input same as fsm okay so this is same as fsm so here this is the next state logic based on value q and current input this okay and z logic particularly output logic this one is output output logic z logic is output logic output logic so we need to look at you are in which state based on t0 t1 there are two states and this is a kind of decoded okay kind of decoded so this is a, if your q is equal to 0 then this will be enabled if q is equal to 1 then this will be enabled so this is a, only the 1 cross 2 decoder is there so already decoded and z logic will be based on the decoded thing so you are in which state and how it will behave so suppose you are in t0 state on what conditions s will be 1 okay so that thing we'll see so 
if you look at the things, so this is the uh, ASM for Meli FSM of binary error, same thing, this is the ASM. So, this one is transitions, if you look at Q values. So, you are in state, suppose first case, you are in state 0, you are in state 0, you are in state 0. On what case you are getting a 1 values? So, so this is a, uh, this is the, this one is for next state 1. So, on what values you are going to the next state? Suppose you are in state this one and what value of x, y it tries to the next state? So, clearly, so if you are in state 0, only 1, 1 will go to the next state. That means this, this line. So, we are in state A, okay, state 0 and if you are getting x, y is equal to 1, then only it will go to the next state and this correspond to yellow correspond to this one. So, this one that is why this is correspond to this one, this uh, green one and this one is again. So, for this case, so for one cases, this is for one cases, okay, state one cases, for which cases we are going to the next state, okay, d value next state. So, clearly, whenever 0, 0 cases we are not going to the same cases, we are going to for these cases. For 0 to cases, we are going to state A. For rest of the cases, 0 1 cases, we are going to the again same state, 1 0 cases, same state, and 1 1 case also we are going to the same state. So, that means, so clearly, so this is a q is equal to 1, red q x plus y, this red part it shows, and this green part already saying, and this thing is already covered here. So, next state output logic d will be x y plus q into x plus y. So, this will be the next state logic and what will be the output logic or z logic. So, at what point s is equal to 1. So, if you look at this thing, so state 0 and 1 0 and 0 1. So, this is state 0 and this two cases. So, this two cases. So, ultimately, so this correspond to, so this is you are in state 0 and x, x or y. So, this two cases for this cases, this s is equal to 1. And whenever in state 1, which cases it result a s is equal to 1. So, 1, 1 and 0, 0 cases, this is x nor case. So, you are in state 0, then x, x or y will result a s is equal to 1. If you are in state 1, that means t 1, then x, x nor 0, 0 cases and 1, 1 case, it will result a output s is equal to 1. Okay, this uh, how we can implement this is similar to FSM implementation, but what we are looking here is actually so we do not do tabulations for a whole thing. So, the whole thing we are able to see this thing, these things were repenting in T0 and this whole thing were repenting in T1. So, we are looking at on which state you are and what are the input based on that we are trying to do. Okay. So, this is a, a, a slightly different way of implementing the same thing. Okay. And ultimately how it looks like the next state logic this one it goes to here. So, d is equal to x y plus q x plus y and z logic is this one. So, s is equal to t 0 plus x x or y plus t 1 into x x nor y. So, this thing goes to these places and in this way we can implement serial binary error. So, we model the things using FSM, then converted the model into ASM and then we have implemented the ASM. So, in this case 
both FSM implementations and ASM implementations both looks almost similar. Okay. But what were uh, doing changes? In this case, looking at the states based on input, what output we are getting that we are looking at. Okay. So, we are not enumerating all the things, but only for the one cases we are looking at. Okay. So, that is the difference. Almost similar, but uh, slightly it is easy way, easier way to do the things. So, and let us look at another examples. So, in this example, we will try to uh, generate the external behavior also. External behavior means how to, how from uh, outside it look like. So, the full letter example is very, very small examples. This example is a little bit bigger example as compared to the full letter. So, let us design a circuit, digital circuits to some first n odd numbers. So, if you do first n odd numbers, then clearly we can do with suppose 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 into 2 n minus 1. So, this result is n square. Okay, so, but we want to use basic method in this case. So, we are not doing n square, we are not doing n square one. So, we are doing uh, something means a very basic one. So, we will use basically uh, the summation method. So, we will sum 1, 3, 5, 7 up to 2 n minus 1. So, let us draw the or uh, design FSM for this. So, initially similar to the SM sum of first n odd numbers. So, initially when go is equal to 0. So, from go is equal to 0 means we want to design a circuit. So, once the go signal is given, then only it should start the computations. Otherwise, it will be in ideal. So, if g is equal to 0, the it will stay in ideal state. Okay. That means, ready states. And when go is equal to 1, when go is equal to 1, then it will initialize the thing and once it is initialized, then it will start doing the computations. And till how much time it will do computations? So, because for n numbers. Okay, so, initially we will provide n, then we will decrement that counter and once it reaches 0, then it is keep come to the ideal state and it says that done, once uh, already computed. So, this is the FSM per what I can say uh, this problem. So, sum of first n odd numbers and g and z, these are the input, g and z, this is the FSM. Whenever we are saying who is doing computations, the data path is doing computations. Okay. In this case, data path is doing computations. g we are giving from the outside, z is equal to 0. So, whenever a decrementing counter, so the counter will generate when it reaches 0. Okay. That means, z is a status input to the FSM from the data path. So, this is the FSM. So, this is the FSM and this is the ASM for that and if you look at there are clearly three states. Okay. So, three states A is equal to uh, in this case three state 0, 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0 and this is state whenever G is equal to 0, it is uh, stay in ideal state and whenever G is equal to 1, this is init state initialize and this is compute 1. Okay. And whenever means in compute state, it every time it decrement the uh, counter, it decrement the counter, whenever it reaches 0, then it goes to the ideal state. This is done, kind of done. Okay. So, this is the very uh, high level ASM, okay. but uh, for this examples, we can represent the same thing. This one is actually more FSM. We can design the same problem with actually Melly FSM and it can be done with two states very easily. And if you convert this Melly FSM, redesign Melly FSM to the ASM, then we can manage the two states. And if you look at this thing, this is the uh, 
The same problem with Melly FSM modeling and alternate FSM with only two state is given here. So, in this case also this is ideal states, this is ideal state and whenever g is equal to 1 we are doing initializations. Whenever g is equal to 1 we are doing initializations. In Moore FSM whenever g is equal to 1 it goes to another state and in that state it do initializations. But in this case in ideal state if g is equal to 1 it will do a actions. This is the conditional state box because this is conditional state box it can act as another states and you can do some set of actions based on the conditions. Okay. Because of that reasons we are able to modify the model with many FSM and it will result with lesser number of states. Okay. So, when g is equal to 1 it will initialize c is equal to 1, s is equal to 0 and p is equal to n. So, p means uh, we are having a counter decrementing counter initially it will be loaded with n initial values s is equal to summations and c is how many time we are counting and after that every cycle next every cycles what we are doing. So, this thing this is another block this one is another block. So, this example have two blocks two asm block. So, this asm at two blocks this is one block this one is one block. So, state condition box and all associated edges and its conditional boxes and this is second ASM block. This is the this is S0 state 0 and this is state 1. There are two states S0 and S1 two ASM blocks and in this case what we are doing? So, in every cycle S is equal to S plus C we are doing. So, this is again we are using error. So, S is equal to S plus C this RTL kind of statements register transfer level statement C is equal to C plus 2 this is also RTL kind of statement S is equal to S plus C this is C is equal to C plus 2 and P is equal to P minus 1. So, these are register transfer RTL level statement RTL kind of statements and from this we can infer. So, what should be our data path? So, clearly we are doing two additions and one subtractions. So, crudely we can say two error and one decrementer or counter with decrement operations is more than enough. So, this uh, example of two SM blocks. So, clearly this is one block, so one in red and this is another block. This is a two ASM blocks. So, ASM block means it executes in one cycle. So, whole thing executes in one cycle. This is suppose state 0 and state 1. So, whenever you are in state 0 that means at, at the end of the cycle. So, it execute all the things all the action written in states then conditions and conditional state box all the three things executes together. And clearly in this case because we require two error one and two two error decrement register decrement register this is decrementer one and clearly what is two register s register we require c register we require. Okay. And two constant so clearly this is constant this is constant okay. and this is again loading and this is input and it is input from the external world and what is the output s is the output from the external world. And whenever we are doing these things so from external world what we want so g external input external input is g and go and what is external output external output is maybe one can say done and s. So, whether it is done or not and final summations. So, external input is g and n go 